Welcome back, everyone. Today we're going to take a look at the uh, Sons of the Forest. This one requires a plug-in. So using our previous videos, we've already installed Windows GSM. We've already installed the plug-in. Now we must configure Sons of the Forest. This one took me a minute to figure out. On this one, to configure it, you have to go to your C drive. It automatically does like when you install a game. So you've got to go to C drive, users, your username, app data, local low, and night, Sons of the Forest DS, which is your dedicated server, and then you have your configuration. So we're going to edit with Note Plus Plus. Your IP address, you should be able to leave at all zeros. Your server name, you'll change, but you can leave the dedicated in there. Um, matter of fact, when you delete it out, it puts it back in. LAN only, you'll set the faults. If you're going to, you know, have your friends connect. Skip network accessibility test, true. This does a port check but it doesn't do it correctly for a lot of people. And so it, it doesn't check your actual IP on your network card. It checks your router IP. And so it stops the server from booting up saying that it's wrong. So that's all we have to change on this one here. And let's just take a peek at the config settings. Okay, that's there's not, not any gameplay settings to change there. You'll need to open ports 8766 and 27016. See the um, instructions on the website, uh, link in the description, if you don't know how to open the ports our console on. We're still booting up. So what happens if you don't toggle the, the port checker off is when it loads here, it'll fail and say that your ports aren't open even though they are. Took me a good while to sort all the little tidbits about this one out. Okay, I believe that's it. So let's fire it up and see if we can find our server. We're going to set our source to dedicated. And then you'll come in your filter and type it, and it's already found it. Also, you want to set your password. Forgot to delete out the password. You want to set your password in that other field. Should be able to just leave the quotation marks empty if you don't want a password. Okay, we're in. Let's see if it remembers where we left off. I suspect if you're playing on the LAN only, it skips the port check. I don't know for sure. No, it doesn't remember. What a pretty looking game, huh? My buddy Calvin. That's it. We're in the game. We're good to go. It's all working. Server's up and running. All right, everyone. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good day.